we are in the winter of the church, when the things that we have amassed are beautiful, our history and our stories and our grace, but it is the time to make things with our hands. It is the time to make things with our spirit. It is time to formulate what will help the world spiritually survive. There is a, in closing, a tradition. If you're looking at teepees among the Plains tribes, when you put up teepees, you set poles that come together. Before the lodge cover is even put onto the teepee, everyone knows the name of the pole. It starts with three. The first pole that goes in place is the pole for the elders. And then there's a pole for the children. And then there's a pole for the two-leggeds and the four-leggeds. Until when the teepee cover is completely put around, you can lay on your back in the teepee and you can look up at your own cosmology, the shape of your world. And when you wake up in the morning, you see the elders and you remember the story. You see the children and you remember their story. You remember the animals and you remember the story. You can't go to sleep at night without seeing the structure of your life and your protection and those stories around you. And in the far north, they call it sleeping inside the whale. The bones of the whale, which is all that is left at the end of a whale harvest and celebrating a song of thanks to the whale, but the whale bones famed the inside of the lodge. And so you went to sleep inside of the, the animal that gave you life and sustained you. And you woke up in the morning looking at the whale bones and you knew the whale captains and their stories and their histories and every time you laid down you looked at the sacred story and when you got up you looked at the sacred story and when you came home you looked at the sacred story. We are people living inside of teepees created by God that contain our stories. We are people living inside the bones of the whale that contain our survival. We are the people that whom the light comes in the eastern door to our houses in the morning and illuminates the cosmology of our history, our culture, and our faith. Now is the time of winter when all is gathered in. Pick up your hands. Make something that will enable the spiritual survival of those around us.